When we last left our heroes, Wolfgang, the angelic warlock, Denir, the catman wizard, Nara, the drow sorceress, and Asmo, the geriatric murder snack. They discovered that the creature hunting the Sorcerers of Covenant was an undead monstrosity known as a Bone Claw, an undead monster that attaches itself to beings that give off strong, malicious emotions. Returning to the town triumphant, the, uh, the party took part in a full moon celebration with the Lycans and Sorcerers. It was a night of drinking, merriment, and much shame. But the morning left the lingering mystery of who the Bone Claw claimed as its master. Scrying on the monster found it slowly reforming in a dark prison filled with many such monstrosities. The spell also caught the attention of a stoic drow, a high priest of Mother Death known as the Guide. With little information to go on and no means to settle the matter of the Bone Claw in Covenant, our heroes began their mission to track down Solomon. Traveling by Wyvern to the caverns formerly owned by the Trogs to their north, on arrival, they found the new inhabitants, a tribe of gnolls, slack-jawed and shambling about. Seeing signs of undeath, Denir decided to send a message to Solomon. However, the message was hijacked, and the shrieks and wails of many voices crying in agony echoed through Denir's mind. Through the cacophony of pain, Denir could make out a sound that sent a familiar shiver down his spine. Somnium Vagus! With the attention of the slack-jawed gnolls shooting directly towards them, how will our heroes react? So, now would be a good time to swap over to the... Uh, map i have prepared i suppose oh no you don't need to do that <laughs> i do need to do that as you guys still remain hidden behind the uh sand dune nara you got a, a quick peek over it to notice that the uh shambling seemingly undead gnolls are all staring in that direction uh all staring in your guys's direction as denier is clasping his hand like hands around his ears um what is a knoll again? A knoll is basically a hyena man. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Remember that one anime that came out that had the hyena girl? What? What was it called? Um. Ah. Uh, ten out of ten. Uh. Would you guys like to stealth as they are currently staring in the direction of the? Uh, yes, I would. Yeah. Like two stealth. Uh, and twenty-one. Do I even get a roll? Uh, you're currently hunkered down, so by the fact that you're already beneath the sand dune, you get it with advantage. So as long as you're not like screaming oh. in agony, basically. Okay. Good. Twenty-six. Okay. And Wolfgang. Wolfgang just standing on top of the dune smoking a cigarette. Fuck it. Oh my oh, god, my, no. No. My mouse just died. Oh no. Oh no, no. Cool. God dang it. I feel so bad for you because that's happened to me before. That's why that's why I always That's why I always use wired mouses. I just I I don't trust wireless mouses. I luck. I switched One. over to wireless. It only needs to be plugged in for like two hours. It's just I forget. No worries. Here we go. I'm rolling Every, stealth. Mm -hmm. Everybody yeah. needs to be ready in case Solomon tries to uh, bring back Connor's mouse as undead. Oh my god! Oh my god! Just hear a little. <laughs> oh god! Mouse. Mouse. Uh, ha 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 ha. Nineteen. All right. These creatures don't seem incredibly perceptive, but Nara. Uh, Wolfgang and Asmo, you're each able to get a look as they all just kind of, as Denier shot with pain, uh, they all immediately like jerked to the side and started looking towards the dune that you're hiding behind. But you were able to get down before they noticed you. Well, that seemed fun. How many of them did we notice before we, we ducked down? Were, was it like... You can see as many as there are on the map. At the moment, uh, looks to be about seven. Okay. 
That's not terrible. But it ain't great neither. It's not good. I don't know if I've ever had Null before. Really? That's what you're thinking about right now? I'm sorry. Go ahead and give me a nature check real quick, Nara. Really? That's what you're responding to her with right now? Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Uh, by the barest of glances that you got at them, you're guessing that the flesh on them would not be very tasty as it looks incredibly rotted. I mean, I've had old meat before, but that's like old. Uh, you also have a little dinosaur on your chest that's currently uh, kicking and wiggling. Seems restless. Just... It's fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Shh. Uh, Tries to get him to chill out. Yeah. Eight. Mm -hmm. Nah, he's fussy. Okay, I immediately notice this is going bad, so I try and... Shh. Quiet. Nara, be quiet. Shh. It's trying hey, to wriggle what? its way out of its papoose. Oh my god. Asmo, you calm the child down. Shh. Asma starts whispering in her ear like the horse are you, whisperer. you talking to Nara, or are you talking to little Ash? Or, the, or uh, the, 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 the large wyvern's face is, like, right between you, like, kind of off to the side of both of you right now, just... Okay, luckily he's behaving. Well, no, you, you calm down this baby dinosaur. Hey, hey, listen. What? Oh, do I get it with advantage? No. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Eleven. That was the most straight face. No. no. Why would I do that? <laughs> no. <laughs> if you're mm. each doing it individually, no. neither of you get it with advantage. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the, the baby dinosaur definitely wants down. Oh, oh my god. Okay. She'll, like, get him down, but put the little, like, child leash on him. Look at the child there. Uh, both uh, Nara yeah, the sucks. Drow and Little Ass are kind of like nose to nose right now. We're gonna be friends, right? Uh, little Ass is slowly kind of growing. Oh, oh, gone. Pro uh, probably about as tall as you right now. <laughs> the bones are growing again. She just turns it into like a little, like, baby T Rex arm leash. All right. Uh, the gnolls are still unaware of your presence, but are staring and are. Uh... I should probably be on the same map as you if I'm going to interact with anything, huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Slowly starting to shamble that way. Um, hey, guys, we do have the undead things to, like, worry about, so do you think we should d do something about that? Wolfgang, what do you think? I have no idea what the disposition of these things are. Wait, wait, wait. Asmo, don't you have... Nara? I... Can't she, like, do shit? I... I... <laughs> Like, Abo above game, I'm trying to... I, you have to forgive me from last week. I'm trying to remember what the scenario was with these guys from last week. Like, these... they, they are outside of a cave, but I don't remember if they, we knew they were hostile or not initially. They absolutely are. The, okay. Remember those... Uh, the mind flayers that we sent back to Solomon forever mm. ago? Yeah. Yeah, they came you're... back, well, and you're, now you're, they're... You're, you're playing with meta information right now. All you know is that Denier says one of them knows his name. His other okay. name. Right, but that's what we assume. Well, I am assuming. Okay, anyway. I just want to make sure. I just want to. I'm just curious if, if negotiations not there. So, and if it's, since it's not well, there, then that, that, that makes it a bit easier. They're shambly dead things, so more than likely not our friends. Wolfgang did bring up the possibility of them being undead thralls in the village, though. Mm hmm. Oh right, yeah, that was a thing. Because Bone Bone Boy, he killed Bone Boy, but we don't know who it belongs to. Bone. 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 I mean, we could just kill them all and then it's done, right? Fuck. 
uh, Nara's gonna feed uh, Lil' Ass right now a ration. Sniffs the jerky and just, arf, 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 swallows it like a duck. Oh my god, okay. Feeds another one. Alright. I'm gonna give him uh, both of the r rations that Pip gave me, actually. Just from a Just My movements from... are acting as a timer, by the way. Yeah, yep, just I know. from a a um like a monster hunter standpoint, someone who's dealt with uh undead before, can I just tell from a glance that these things appear to be undead like, like zombie gnolls? Yeah. If their goal is to defend wherever this is, they're not gonna be up for talking. I say we get the jump on them now. Okay. Uh, anything? Uh, actually, I'm going to take one more peep at him. What are you trying to learn? I'm trying to learn. Oh, wait. Never mind. I take that back. Just blow him up. <laughs> blow him up. <laughs> Ready to blow up. Let's see. Uh, what can I do? I can do. You're starting to be able to kind of like hear them, like their feet shuffling on the sand. And there. There we go. As no changes. They... Asmo changes the uh, his his blade into the shield. <laughs> All right, and as Here they get go. into this position, I need everybody else to roll a uh, stealth check again, as they now have a new vantage point. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll go ahead and roll for natural going. twenty. Oh, oh, oh my god, nice. Asmo brought his desert ghillie suit. Of course he did. I am now a rock. Thirteen. I will yeah, and here for... I go too. The thirteen. <laughs> Nice. I will roll also. for Nara the Wyvern <laughs> yeah. and Lil Ass the Chronosaur. Who has eaten now? <laughs> Nara the Wyvern is able to, like, cover themselves with their wing, and they look like a large black boulder right now. Oh, so my they are, God. They rolled a nat 20. Uh, Lil Ass. Oh, boy. Is under that wing, rolling a natural 19. Holy shit. Nice. Hell yeah. That buys you around before they move in a little closer. What 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 is your call? Uh, let's see. All we can see from can we see the like stairs that are happening over that way? You can see and pretty stuff. much everything on the map that is open. Everything beyond, uh, every, everything like off to the back there. Uh, it's just a series of rocks and dark cavernous openings into uh, what appears to be a cave system. Your guessing would be there. Uh, what what would have been their village if they were not all dead? I guess it's right. still their village, but they just don't use it the same way. Right. It's more utility now. Oh, uh, uh did we wake up with temp hit points? By the by. Yes. Hell yeah! Wanted to Every make sure that was rest. there. It and, was uh, eleven for you guys, seventeen for me. I definitely have mage armor up in case I didn't say that before. Um, oh my god. Okay. Now the worry is once we start this, it's on and we're probably Forever. going to alert all of them. Yeah. What if they're friendly? They're not. Trust me. How do you know? Have you met them before? Have you they're met the undead knolls before? There's yeah. nothing to know. Well... That's very alivist of you. <laughs> Wolfgang just sort of turns to Nara, just slack jawed. I've been dead a bunch of times. It's very rude of you to assume that I'm not. You know what? Whatever. You want to go talk to him or not? Lanny? Well, yes. they've been bickering back and forth, Denier has slowly been forcing himself back up. 
He looks up, a flash of fury appears in his eyes. I cast Fireball. Oh, All right, where are you? Do, 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 do. Weapon of choice starts playing. <laughs> Weapon of choice starts playing. I, I was going to say, I think we need to start with a ah, big wonderful. scatter. Uh, it is right uh, here. It's a, it's a 20 foot radius right there. I think that catches all of them. Yep. Mm. Okay. Uh, so as you're bickering, you stand up and just like a massive ball of fire appears uh, beyond the dune, which uh, all of their eyes open wide as they point. They kind of, Some of them kind of like get down on all fours as they start to kind of charge forward. And you see this like kind of in slow motion, the fireball flicks away. And now I have to roll a bunch of dex saves on things that are not incredibly dexterous. DC 17 or each and every single one of all Fail. seven of them take 35 fire damage Fail. apiece. Fail. Save. Oh. He takes half. Natural one. Nice. Ooh. Natural <laughs> one. Yeah. Ooh. One of them passed. Okay. Nice. So, like, this massive ball of fire goes, f f f like, boom. Just firing forth. Puffoom. And as it hurtles and crashes dead center into the uh, zombified knoll, he is immediately evaporated into dust oh. as this massive oh. explosion boom, takes out this entire group. Body parts, viscera, burnt hair, everything goes flying everywhere. Uh, including the torso of this one, which is the only thing still alive and crawling. <laughs> its eyes light up. And from further away, you start to hear similar cries Robert, echoing Robert, Robert. from the cavern. Fuck. A nice shot in here. Um... And with that, I would like everybody to roll initiative. Oh, I I gotta oh. say that was incredible. <laughs> it's just an explosion. That's how we do. Oh, 20, 22. Soft, soft twenty. Eleven. Sixteen. Well, as far as opening plays go, that was probably the best one we could have asked for. Yeah. Honestly, a, a fire a fireball is very strong in that regard. Hmm. All right, let me mark these down here. Fireball is once again the best spell. <laughs> Fireball is, in fact, pretty great. As of course, it's tradition. Esmo. It's me. Yeah, I, I wanted to do it a lot earlier, earlier, but I figured Denier needed time to get his head right and, you know. Also, waiting for them to be more bunched up was smart. Mm -hmm. Good plan. All right. Oh man! Wait. Better oogie boogie music than this. That means you gotta go first. Wow! <laughs> see, it's more fun to go first when you're the melee guy. Let me see. Where's just here we go. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> All right. Looking, slow turns to Denier and goes, thank you. <laughs> so, Nara, this uh, other little knoll continues to crawl towards you just with this immense fervor. Uh, feel free to act uh, as you see would, fit. Would necrotic damage work on an undead? Go ahead and give me an arcane check. Nine. Sometimes. It's, uh, not, it's not usually particularly effective, but sometimes. Let's see. How far is this thingy away? It can be. I'm just going to use a good old acid splash. <laughs> throwing acid at it. Acid! Make, throwing acid! Oh, did I never set up the spell? <laughs> so it would seem... Uh, <laughs> what is it? Yeah, it it, do, it doesn't even say how much damage that normally like that should be doing. Yeah, I think it's I think it's like it was uh, a trip. it's like three d four at this point or something. Uh, D -D 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 -D. It's a dick save versus a d six acid. Yeah, yeah it's not, it, well, it's a cantrip, so it should go up per 
yes, it right? increases. Uh, at 11th level, it's 3d6. Yes. Well, either way, it fails. So go ahead and roll 3d6 for your acid damage. Hell yeah. Boom. 11. Uh, and as the acid cascades across the beast, its bones become bleached, and it loses all mobility it has left within its unliving bones. Asmo, you're up. You can okay. hear a sound, uh, like the sound of more of these creatures slowly uh, making their way to the cavern. Oh, I was going to move. Oh, go for it. <laughs> I don't want to stay out in the open here. Wait, how far can I go? I can go... 30 feet, I think. Asmo goes up to the only... Asmo runs up to the only body and quickly grabs it by the leg to send it. Uh, it has no legs. It is just a torso. I send the torso. All right. It... Disappears. Those can be sent at least. Okay. And I... Uh, could I ready an action? Uh, a dodge act? S s sending that was your action. Oh, okay. And that's it for me then. <laughs> you know, if these are actually Solomon's creatures, and you just sent him mm. one of his own creatures... <laughs> hey, we Recycling. Can you I fix it? It counts, it counts, it counts. It counts, it counts. <laughs> uh, check this, check this, check the scoreboard! I'm, that, I'm, no, not, right. I'm, not, I'm not counting that. That does not go towards your total. All right. Still at 49. Technically so, 47, uh, but really as the sounds echo through the canyon, the sounds of these screaming beasts, uh, as the first bit of light begins to catch, a horde of these creatures begins oh. rushing out. Oh, oh, bloody oh. Fucking oh my goodness. Scrambling, crawling, clawing, some of them trying to climb over each other in this vicious, fervent desire to get at your meat. Uh, oh my god, why does it move that fast? What the fuck? No! Oh my god! Oh boy. How did it get that far? I don't understand. Oh, this one god. makes it about that far. Uh, oh my god. Denier, you're up. Why did I move? Uh, uh, oh boy. Okay. Uh, let me check something. How Now this horde, how big is this horde? Uh, it looks to be it. Um, give me a perception check, because okay, the, the shambling bodies that are continually crawling over each other, tripping over each other, and like slamming forth. Nat twenty. Ooh. Exactly twenty five. <laughs> there are exactly twenty five of them. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I love. Ah, uh, this is why they talk about me. This is why they talk about magic <sighs> casters towards the uh, past level ten. Ah. Uh, Fireball at fifth yeah. level. Oh hell yeah! Oh, oh yes, baby, what? your firework. And that is fireballs. Yeah, that is I believe that's ten d six or it's ten d six or ten d eight. Ten d's. Either way, uh, <laughs> save DC is still seventeen. Save DC is still seventeen. So twenty five saving throws. Versus 10d6 damage. I'm only going to make five because I'm not rolling dice for that long. Okay. Fail. Fail. <laughs> fail. Fail. Nice. Pass. Okay. One, yeah. one fifth of them pass. Mm. 28 points of damage to everything that doesn't oh that, that doesn't pass. 28 points of damage to everything that doesn't pass. Let me do some math real quick. And 14 to everything it does. A massive explosion fires off in this uh, core group of zombies, zombified gnolls. Uh, Asmo and Nara, body parts go flying everywhere. You are being hailed with fiery viscera and gore. Thank God I got that shield up. Staying <laughs> um, in the rain. So let's see here, that is... Seen in the rain. Those that still have their limbs uh, and are still able to move are continuing to hurtle towards you. And Daenerys' movement action, he triggers uh, 
He triggers uh, feline agility, and he is running the fuck away. Meow. Nara's like tap dancing as the blood rains down with an umbrella. <laughs> Swinging on a light post. <laughs> Alright, looks like you've dispersed a decent amount of that chunk, but uh, hurtling its way out of the tunnel appears to be another large group. Oh my god! Oh boy. What the There's fuck? a reason why I threw up that shield. I just had a nagging feeling. Oh no, I made a big old mistake. <laughs> oh. That's about as far as it can make it right now, though. And Wolfgang, it's you're up. Oh, fucking hell. Welcome to Undead Rookies. Hey, uh, fuck, he, fuck. All right. Vibes of Morpheus in Matrix Reloaded. I don't like it here. I'm gonna run up here, up behind these two, and then, yeah, that'll work. Um, I think it's time for uh, a little bit of this. Uh, let's go ahead and just, just put a big wall of light just oh. right, right through, right through here. Uh, it is 60 feet long, 10 feet high, and 5 feet thick. So, so. Thick wall. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just. 60 feet. All right. Let me. Yeah. I'll just slice right through there like that. And when the wall emerges, all the zombies that are in its area must succeed on a constitution saving throw. All right. So about there ish. A little further, I'm guessing. Uh, so you want, you want it cutting wanna, through both hordes, right? Yeah, I wanted it to angle to, to get both of them. Yeah, this thing's hard to move. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. All right, Constitution just, just saving across, throw DC. Yeah, across this sort of canyon, uh, just sort of blocking the exit a little bit. Uh, and Constitution save, yes, DC 17. 17 bit better when it comes to constitution, but okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, about a third of them pass. Okay. All that succeeded take half damage. All that failed are blinded and take... Where's Wall of Light? You know what? I'll just... Roll my 48 right here. 29 points of radiant damage and are blinded. Alright. Mark these down. Nice long rectangle. Yep, mm -hmm. as they're still trying to push their way through that wall right, of light. Uh, cool. Any movement you'd like to make, Wolfgang? Uh, just... You know, uh, I'm going to just sort of be... I already made my 15, so I'll, I'll take another 15 and go to about here just so I can have a big, wide area to see what's happening. All right. Uh, clamoring out of the hole, still streaming out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. right, hold on. Too far. Too far. No, I didn't want to double-click you. There. That's as far as it can make it. 
Hmm. Hmm. Seems to be trying to avoid the blazing wall of light that the others are just trying to push their way through. Um, let's see. Nara the Wyvern was not given any orders, so it remains cloaking little ass with its wing. Little ass, mm -hmm. however, let's see what it decides to do. Oh my god. Oh, baby, no. Little ass is snuggling with Nara. Yay! Thank god. Alright. Uh, and with that, we're back up the list. Nara. Uh, that, uh, that's great. That's mm -hmm. great. I should adjust um, this so that the sound is a bit more appropriate for how many there are. I will say I adore this soundtrack. Thank you. So I great. spent about an hour making it. <laughs> I was about to say I can hear you. I can hear you. Uh, oh my god. I there's there's that's many of creature. So if I were to do the poison spray again just oh wait no fuck that shit we're doing scorching ray at uh at uh, fourth level all righty that's fix five shots now? yeah oh what oh, oh my god natural 20 uh, for the first sorry. one Wh which which horde are you attacking Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I was gonna, uh... Oh, the red one's already been kind of hurt, right? The red one has shrunk significantly. Okay, but there's still how many left? Uh... At a glance, or, you'd probably guess somewhere between 8 and 12. Okay, I'm gonna focus this on Blue Horde, because that's right the fuck in front of me. Yep, they're starting to peek their way through that wall of light as they're, like, climbing and clambering through as their flesh and fur are sizzling off. Okay, so a natural 20. Yeah, that hits. Go ahead and roll okay. in for that first blast. Uh, 10. You watch as the uh, ray of fire that you shoot completely eviscerates half of one knoll's face and burns a hole through the chest of one directly behind it. Oh boy, there's a lot in that group, huh? Yep, uh, the All right. horde continues to climb over the two that just fell. And I have four more, correct? I believe so. Yes, okay. Going 16? That'll hit. Nine. Uh, you liberate that horde <laughs> of at least one more other knoll and probably another one's limb. As it fires through the wall of light. Three, twenty. Fuck yeah. Also yeah, hits. So fucking hot tonight. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mm. Uh, uh, what is that? Fourteen. Uh, twenty-five. Uh, sorry, you you deal six because the other one is if you got the net twenty. Oh 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 right. Uh, okay. Uh, twenty-five. Twenty-five also hits. Four. <laughs> Get another zombie. Uh, <gasps> limbs gets completely blown away. And 25. Also hits. Three. Mm. Don't quite kill one, but you liberate one of its arm. Okay. From... Uh, uh, oh, my God. As my bonus action, I'm going to summon Whisper, and she points at the blue one and fucking runs. <laughs> Uh, the shadow of the gonna... cat crawls forth from your shadow, looks at the shambling horde rushing towards you, gets down in a ready stance. Nora points is just like, do your best, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna add whisper to the. Okay. Whisper yeah, goes yeah. after Denier. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let's see, that's 5215. <laughs> Uh -huh. Can go back down here real quick. <laughs> I think I got a little too close. Uh, <laughs> a little too much for me. Uh, Asmo, you up? Uh, all right. So, what the overall condition of the red one? How's it looking? Uh, 
uh, still looks to be about like somewhere between 8 and 12 zombies remaining in that horde. Uh, those that are making it out of the Wall of Lights are continuing their vicious, fervent uh, hunt of your meat. Okay, so I am going to... I'm actually going to stand still. I'm going to ready an action. Oh. If they come, if they run, run into me, I'm going to unload on these guys. So I'm going to ready... I'm going to pretty much to tank and spank, literally. So I'm going to hold still in my position here, and I'm going to take a defensive action. Okay, so you're taking a dodge action. Remember, taking uh, a dodge, could, taking could it be a, 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 a counterattack action, actually? You can take an attack action, or you can take a dodge action. I'll take so, an attack action, which okay, will be... Okay, bear in mind that means you will not be able to use your offhand when you attack. You'll just be able to use your three normal attacks. Okay. Uh, I'm just wondering if I want them to hit me, or if I move and attack the red, if the blue will move against me. If you see, kind of see where I'm worried about, guys. I want to make sure I keep the space between us oh, and absolutely. them. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So All I right. might... It, it feels weird not to rush into combat and let them come to me, but I might honestly... I might do. I might actually travel south because of that green team. So I might go do that right now. Actually, Asmo sees the condition of those and screams, "You got this!" And Asmo is gonna instead uh, move thirty down to here. A right. scary. Uh, uh, I will also give you this bit of meta information just because we never really discussed it. You can shout orders to the wyvern. Oh, Nara! What? Hey, not you, Nara! The wyvern's, oh. head, the wyvern's head, like, pokes up. <laughs> looks up from its phone. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Look, looks up from cuddling little ass. I just Aww. put the fingers in my mouth, and I just whistle, and I point at the green one. All right. Nara has entered the initiative order. I, I am now going to move uh, myself yeah. up to this rock, though, and I'm going to head down towards uh, the other pile. There we go. Okay, and that and, and I'm going to take that, I'm gonna take that attack uh, action. That'll end it. Uh, okay, so you're going to hold your attack, basically, for something uh, to get in range? Yep. <sighs> this is a gamble, but I, I'm just trying to be a tank right now, which is my responsibility. All right. Uh, Nara will act as soon as their initiative is up. Nara the Wyvern. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Why did it do that? That's an odd thing for that. Okay. All right. Uh, Red Horde. Uh, does it get anything for starting in the Wall of Light, Wolfgang? Connor? Huh? Connor! No! End their turn in the Wall of Light for it to go off again. Okay, only, only ending it. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. Creature takes the move. Uh, creature ends their turn in the Wall of Light. They take another 48. Yes. Ping. Okay, they are uh, scrambling forth, and let's see, they have a decision to make. They make it to Nara. And all of a sudden, there are a lot of very grabby claws and mouths coming straight towards you. What the fuck? Uh, that is a 19 to hit. Uh, yeah. Uh, you are considered it. grappled and swarmed. Uh, I... Yeah. I should have had my D6s ready. I apologize oh, no. for this. That was a bad, that was a bad move. I'm in danger. <laughs> I I didn't think that was going to happen. I did. Well, she said something. Seven, uh, you take 19 points oh. of bludgeoning damage, essentially, and are considered grappled by this horde as you're being swarmed and pulled in. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, uh, Denier. Okie doke. So as Asmo is running uh, towards uh, Green, a little orange bead whizzes past him. As I trigger it right here, I cast a fourth level fireball to strike both uh, oh. blue 
and green. Nice. All right. So that's upwards of 50, 50 saving throws that are needed. Oh my god. I'm only rolling 10. 29 points of fire damage. Oh my god. I love you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Sorry, Just Nara. Fireball. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are rolling improbably low, by the way. Ten. Okay, one of them saved with a nat 20. The rest of them are eating all of this detonation. Hell yeah. Uh, 29 points. All right, gonna do some math here. I'm burning my spell slots fast, but we're going to get overwhelmed if I don't. Yep. Blue once again becomes like a, uh, once again, a massive explosion lets up a massive shower of viscera and gore, like an exploding graboid. Nice. Good, good, good reference. What good? Not quite enough to shrink that one yet. And if it was possible for me to move any more on this, on this map, I would be moving further back. Unfortunately, to do so, you'd have to abandon your friends. Oh. I'm not ready to do that quite yet. Not yet, Bob! Good to know. No, uh, Whisper leaps and pounces towards the zombies. Yeah. Yay. Land some claws. Whisper just, like, leaps up, pounces into this entire horde, just, like, rips, like, a head just comes rolling out. From what ris from Whisper just ripping one uh, to shreds. Yay, baby! Uh, Wolfgang. Oh wait, no, Blue Horde's turn. Uh, Blue Horde. Oh, that's a nat twenty. Oh. Uh, and as the head goes rolling out from the uh, from the one knoll that Whisper was able to tear to shreds, you hear the pained cries of Whisper as Whisper 2 is ripped into shreds and destroyed by the horde. That was... Uh, I don't even want to tell you how much damage that was is how much it was. Uh, okay. Blue Horse gonna keep moving uh, forward. Asmo, there we go. Unleash your attack action. Okay, I'm gonna hit him with the fucking shield a couple, like three times, essentially. Oh god. Bank, bank, bank. Thank god for that. So, uh, just Chimera Shell once. Twelve. Twelve makes it. I mean, basically, you point in a direction, you'll probably be able to hit something. That's what I figured. So, five. Uh. Rah. Natural one. That is the only way you could have missed. Uh, the zombies wow. grab a hold of your shield. Oh, they grab a hold of the shield? Oh, so that last attack doesn't hit. Okay. Yeah, basically, so. uh, it, it nullifies your last attack as, they're, as you're basically struggling to try to pull the shield away from them as they're trying to pull you in to get more nibbles and bites before, out of you. Before oh. this combat starts, we had 11 temporary hit points, right? Yeah. We Yay. did. We'll okay, see how this adds up as they're going to use their... That is correct. Second Thank God. Okay, so real quick, around. real, real, real quick, before mm -hmm. we get too crazy. Uh -huh. Now, Nick. Uh huh. Now, now, Norm, I just, I'm wondering how you're doing this because I got defensive duelist. <laughs> when and you're wielding a four. You. Mm -hmm. I, 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 now, 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 what I did, I, I, I held my action. Does this count as my reaction, or do I now? get a reaction now that it's... a held action is just your action a reaction is still a reaction okay because i can do my reaction you said 24 i add my a i add my ac i activate defensive duelist when you're wielding a finesse weapon which i mean does the does the chimera count as a finesse weapon uh the shell does not the shell is not a well building finesse weapon 
is what you well i guess if you have something in your offhand that is i i mean i i i do have i have of course what I'm is in your wheel. offhand oh i am actually if you can believe it, i have a chimera thing in my offhand sorry the kabuto sorry a little yeah kabuto is a uh, is a finesse weapon so yes it's you can still use that okay so i use my fin uh, so i will be able to add uh, add your proficiency bonus to your ac for this attack that i'm being hit with mm -hmm. a 24 to hit what does that add? What does that make your AC? It makes my armor class 24, but with the shield, plus 2. So my AC is 26. All right. <sighs> so you're able, like, as they're grabbing the shield and pulling you in and trying to get, like, claws and teeth on you, you're able to shove that shield into them and kind of push them back, giving yourself just enough space to not get uh, completely overtaken by this horde. No, no, for flavor right now, he's up against the rock with the shield out. Right now, it's like... <sighs> Like, it's yeah, a these, terrifying visual. As these zombies are closing in and swarming about you. Wolfgang. There we go. I'm doing my job. Yay! Hey. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, so now <laughs> I'm realizing what would have happened. Now, a bigger horde would have hit Wolfgang if I had not moved. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. It, was, it, was, it was what I was sitting there going, like, I'm gambling. No matter what. No, it's mm. fine. I'll just die over here. Gosh, do I want to do this? Um, Nar is in danger. I'm just gonna. Hmm. So, uh, when when something says that it targets one creature, I would just be targeting one zombie in this horde. Correct. I'm counting these hordes basically as a mass of creatures. So, uh, like, like when, like when Nara shot the uh, scorching ray, she overkilled one and still t had the amount left to kill another one. I'm not calculating every single zombie's no. individual HP, <laughs> which is why yeah. you're not getting why attacked not? 25 times. You're only getting attacked once with a massive bonus to attack and a massive ad addition to damage. Well, don't you want to do? Don't you want to do math for like an hour and a half, though? I have a calculator out, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I, it's like your point. I know you're, you're borderline in Warhammer that, game happening. In All that right. case, uh, I'm going to pull a moat of light from the wall of light. Uh, it's going to shrink by. It's going to shrink by. Ten feet. Uh, it was in the pool. A massive, just goldish white laser fires into this crowd of zombies. Ooh. Uh, let me make a spell attack. Ooh. That is going to be a twenty-four to hit. That'll hit. Okay. That horde will take an additional 21 points of radiant damage. As the light boom, fires forth, Nara, you're about to get like chomped on by yet another zombie. Uh, a holy white light just sears past and takes out another swath of these zombies. Gotta do this math. One, two, Uh, is this a action? Okay. Um, and the horde is once again decimated. I'm just going to shift it to make it look a little oh. bit more visually pleasing to me. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, I'm going to stand next to Nara just to give the horde something else to think about. I'll, ponder. I'll, I'll point... Uh, my finger towards her and I'll say, you're going to be alright! Uh, and I'll use uh, two uses of my healing light to heal you for 2d6. Oh. Heal for four? Uh, uh, that's, that's okay. A few of your undead hickeys are now gone. <laughs> Yay! I'll take it. Oops. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, and I'll, I'll just, I'll 
pull out Crescendo and Requiem and just be ready for for a combat. All right. That's my turn. Green Horde. Uh, stumbling, tripping over the rock, which uh, slows them down a little, but they get eyes on you, Catman. Oh. Mm, shit. Sorry, dude. Uh, it's all taking good. a full dash through a couple of areas of difficult terrain, I think this is about as far as they can make it. As they're stumbling, tripping over each other, uh, their eyes glowing with this like light green glow as they stare at you. Each of them never breaking eye contact despite how often they trip or fall. Their eyes remain locked squarely on you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I stare at them right back. I T-pose to assert dominance. Oh my god. <laughs> and as you T-pose to assert dominance, swooping out of the sky... <gasps> yeah! Ah! <laughs> Screaming down out of the sky, the massive Dreadwiver Nara slams into the crowd of zombies. Dealing claw damage. Basically just eviscerating a massive chunk of them. Right. The poison from its tail will be less than effective, but the tail is nonetheless going to make its presence known. That's a fucking shame. I mean, the, the piercing damage is going to be great. That's a nat 20. Oh, hell oh. yeah. Mm. As the tail just shoots in, it shish kebabs five of the zombies and just flings them into the air as they clatter to the ground in pieces. Man, Nara's the best. <laughs> And a little ass losing its snuggle buddy looks over and notices the pain that its mommy is in and starts getting really fucking mad. It big mad. Hold on, let me roll something how mad it gets. Oh, Oof. okay. How mad? How mad are you? It, it gets adolescent, or it, it gets like adolescent mad as it stomps okay. over and starts. <laughs> Uh, swings its tail and batters a group of the zombies that were trying to grab and bite at you, Nara. Oh. Yay! With a, with a thunderous crack, the sound of crunching bones and uh, unexpected yelps echoing in your ear, Nara slams away a good chunk of these zombies. Nara? Oh, sorry, little ass. Little ass. There you go. There's a lot of right. names to keep track of here. Uh, then goes down for a big old chomp. Takes the head off of another one. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Another two as it yes. makes a meal out of two of these guys. Hell yeah. My baby boy. <laughs> and Wolfgang thought it was a bad idea. And you're left with basically, like, <laughs> two or three zombies, some of which are, like, half zombies just kind of working together, climbing up on you. <laughs> it's like two, three zombies in a trench coat. <laughs> pretty much. Like, I, I have to do fractions of zombies for how much mutilation there was. <laughs> wow. Either way, you're up, Nara. Oh, okay, great. Uh, we're just gonna send out Tango Muerte. <laughs> Weep. You let the blade fly forth. 20. Oh. Tango. Okay. Roll damage. Boop. 11 slashing for necrotic. The necrotic damage does not seem to be that effective, but that 11 damage is certainly enough to uh, take the heads and remaining mobility out of uh, 1.5 zombies. Hell yeah. And, uh... Let's see, my range on my Tango Marte mm, Splicey Dicey is 60, right? 30. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming these guys are within 30 feet of you as they are currently trying to make you their brunch. Yes. Oh, not them. I was oh, you're going, going for my the bonus. ones that are on Asmo. Gotcha. I'm already done with them. They're dead. Aren't they? Wait, are they? Uh, there's, there's still like one and a half zombies remaining. Damn it. Dear. 29. 29 hits. 11 slashing. Four necrotic that does nothing. There, there is uh, half of a zombie that is like, basically, you know those Resident Evil zombies that are on the ground and all they do is bite your legs? Oh my mm. god. That is the only thing left. Really? Of this horde. <laughs> Nora will roll her eyes and look at Wolfgang like, can you believe this shit? It's chewing on your boot. Can I, I just stomp it? Can, can I just stomp it? Uh, bonus, bonus action. If, if you had such an action, I would allow God it. God dingles. Alright. Uh, do you wish to move or anything of that? If I move, aren't I... Can they technically get an attack of opportunity? <laughs> it, it, it will, in fact, try to chew through to your shins, yes. Oh, my God. But no, it, it for... is significantly weaker than it was as a horde. Well, oh, God, I really don't want to stay here. I want to go to there. I want to go to there, which is not here. Um, all right. Five, ten. Alright, it's gonna take that attack of opportunity. Yeah. And miss horrifically. As you just kind of like yoink your boot out of its mouth, it just sits there on the ground. <laughs> just as she's then going. It, then, it looks over, <laughs> then it looks over to Wolfgang's feet. <laughs> as she's passing by, puts a hand on Wolfgang's shoulder. I think you got this one. Just like. look down at the ground, dejected, just like, this is what I'm left with. <laughs> Asmo, but you're thanks. up. Okay, so I'm just going to, Asmo is just going to keep on swinging. Oh, my God. Asmo's just going to, he's got the shell up. I'm going leaving that shell up right now. Boom, 21. 21 hits. Bonk, five. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, one second Bonk. here. I bonk bonk on the head, you cave in the skull of one zombie. Nice. <laughs> Troll one, they grab my shield again. God and damn it, yeah. Oh right. And that ends my turn. Alright, uh, hey guys. You, you, hey, you still you still have your bonus action though. That's true, I do have a bonus action. As they're don't grabbing know. onto your shield. You you have you have an offhand weapon. That is oh true. Lord. Kaima all right, let's give him the old Kabuto. Ha ha! Nineteen. There you go. 19, the one that's grabbing your shield. Stab in the face. Uh, add, a, add a D6. Well, actually, no, it's immune to cold. Never mind. Forget that. Hooray! That, that, that cold damage is accurate. And, and my turn. Stab it square in the face. Uh, I'll allow you to attack again just because you were able to kill that one, and these things have a lot of health. Okay, no problem. Uh, well, then. Yeah, so you're yeah, able just... to liberate your shield from the one that grabbed it. Oh, you nice. son of a bitch. Bonk! 19. <laughs> <laughs> that hits. Four. I guess I get... Oh, wait. I have my offhand, so I technically have one additional attack then. Yeah. Oh, that was or... your one additional oh, attack. Oh, sorry. Bonus la, la, la. I, count, I double counting that. And that ends my turn. All right. All right. Uh, that leaves the uh, the foot knoll who's going to try to crawl up and just take a nibble out of your thigh there, Wolfgang. Uh... Does a 14 hit? Does not. All right, it fails. You're able to just kind of like, no, stop, push push it back down. Like Luffy putting right. the zombie back in his grave. You're just, there, no. There, that's okay. there you go. That, that was its flailing attempt. Denier, you're up. Okay. These are just zombies. They're, they don't look, they're just zombie gnolls, right? They... They appear to be acting as a group, but yes, they are simply mindless creatures looking to consume flesh. I have an idea, and I think that some people are going to hate me for it. 
Ready your shame, cats, chat. <laughs> shame! But hear, hear it out. Shame! <laughs> I take out some rope from my bag. I okay. yell at the zombies. You want some cat? Come on! I cast rope trick, trigger feline agility, doubling my speed, and I climb into the rope, and I pull the rope up into it. What the fuck? Denier has left the battle. Oh my god. All of the zombies that were maintaining eye contact with you continue to maintain eye contact as you climb up. What? But now you don't know what's going on out there. You are Use currently in an extra dimensional space. Ro <laughs> just. What do you do as soon as you enter this space, Denier? I crouch at the. Once I enter. I start pulling up the rope just a little bit, just far enough so that they can't reach the rope. But I crouch down, I look outside of it, and I ready my next move. I keep an eye on my allies. I look I look at everybody. I'm basically trying to draw as much attention as I can and put myself out of their reach. All right. Horde B still large enough to get two attack actions in on Asmo. Although it's, it's two hits and it's... Uh, damage are lower. Uh, can I use my I guess my reaction, my defensive duelist? Uh, sure. Uh, as, your, as your reaction to block its first attack? Oh yeah, it's for the, the thing. It boosts my uh, pretty much I have 26. Uh, the armor. first attack definitely misses you. Okay. It's only for the one attack though. Yeah. As, oh, as able, it does not as count for the to, entire oh, It doesn't okay. count for the entire no. turn. But you're able to fend off the uh, first of the uh, arms and teeth that come in to try to get at you. Second attack is a 19 to hit. The shield is still plus two. So, um, what is your AC without defensive duelist? 21. No, 20. Yeah. Wait, hold, hold on, wait, hold on. Uh, I realize I get five added to my de from defensive duelist. I get five added, so I only get two well, added. With the, okay. just the shield, so that puts me up to twenty-one. Sorry. Okay. Yep. You're you're still safe from the uh, from the zomboys then. Yee. As they continue to try to get a good bite at you, you're just able to like fend off, uh, make sure that anything they bite is just armor. Like they get they get mouthfuls of leather, they get mouthfuls of blade, they get mouthfuls of shield. Uh, their claws can't seem to pull you in or get a handle on you, as you're just able to kind of like move out of the way of every single one of their attempts to get at you as they're all trying to claw past each other in this maddening uh, flurry of hands and teeth. That is their turn. Uh, do, 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 do Wolfgang. Whew. Oh, God. Look at this guy. Bang. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Fuck it, I might as well. Uh, I'll just lean down and just plunge crescendo into this guy's forehead. Go for it. Oh yeah, nineteen. Uh, yeah, sure, it, sure, though. sure enough, it's it's trying to cl uh, climb back up. You, you just you summon crescendo into your hand. You stab it directly between the eyes, and the green glow of its. Uh, necromantic energy fades and it crumbles back down to the earth. Uh, and then I'm going to march over to uh, where Asmo is. Mm. Marching on over. With Crescendo. Take your uh, second swipe. This time I'm going Ooh. to ignite Crescendo with holy power using Ooh. my bonus action. Radiant Crescendo. Reading crescendo, here I crescendo go. It's uh, a 19 to hit, 10 slashing, 12 radiant. Yep. Uh, Asmo, as you're like dodging, moving, blocking, a white radiant light sweeps in from the side and sheesh, just slices the, uh, like, kind of like vivisect several of these zombies. Oh, an additional five radiant as well because of my. Uh ability, I believe it is. Yes, it's a warlock ability. Right, so I'm that would be modifier to radiant damage. 
27 damage then. Oh, that's only for spells. Never mind. Oh, never mind. Uh, so still 22. Yes. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to move it. I only meant to prove it. Shrinky dink. There we go. Shrinky dink, 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 dink. My whole turn. All right. Horde C, uh, no longer having a cat, is going to attempt to try to overwhelm Nara the Wyvern. First attack, miss. Mm. Good. Second attack, hit. No. As Nara is just kind of like swinging around, flailing around, these gnolls begin to like claw and climb onto it, uh, like like a pile of vicious fire mm. ants crawling all over this wyvern that's trying to snap and bite at them as they are ripping and tearing into its uh, scaly uh, armored back. Nara's getting torn into by these things. The third attack yeah. is also going to be a hit. Oh, God. Mm. Baby, no! As once again, they continue to pile on and climb on to Nara, the wyvern. Uh, mm. <laughs> just ripping and tearing as they go. She... Uh, the wyvern seems to be in a lot of pain. Probably more pain than you've ever seen uh, Nara in Asmo. You, oh, uh, you hear its cries echoing from behind you. Okay. Uh, big boy dinosaur time. Rolling for anger. Uh, it hears the cries and pain of its new friend, and oh, it actually no. gets substantially angry. Stomp, big baby. stomp, stomp. Yeah! Big Whoa. baby! Going in with the tail. That's a hit. Yes. And is able to slam a number of these creatures off of Nara's back. in for a bite. And of course, the bite is successful as well and is mm -hmm. able to chomp down on another chunk of these critters. Yeah, baby. Uh, eat them. Nom, nom, eat them up. Might get an upset tummy later, but we'll deal with that as it comes. Oh, God. And that is what Nara is able to do as the horde just continues to try to swarm the wyvern. Aww. Do, do, do. Nara, you're up, though. Not the wyvern. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, Nara the wyvern is up. Oh, okay, great. Why the hell do I have you both listed as Nara? This is... Hey, For you fun. did this to you. I don't know what to tell you. Man. You yeah, did it to me! Know, you did this to me! It was a good joke, though. <laughs> it, it is was, a good it joke. Was good. It, was a good, it was a good bit, Nick. It's just we're now three months into it. I don't know what to tell you! <laughs> <laughs> Just the process! <laughs> uh, Wyvern is able to get a bite in. Come on! Rending a few more from existence. And the tail. As it's unable to use its wings at present. As it is currently swarmed. Uh, tail's not a nat 20 this time. And of course the poison is not going to have any effect. But it's still able to get a good stab in. able to shrink the horde a bit. Nice. All right. Now it is Nara the Drow's turn. Oh. Here we go. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I was going to do another Scorching Ray at fourth level. So I'll have, how many was it again? It was fave. Five, I believe, yes, right? Yes, it was five. <clears throat> so, man. 18! Yeah! Uh, which horde are you attacking? Oh, 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 uh, I'm sorry, green. All right, the, the, one sur the one surrounding the wyvern. All right, another uh, bolt of fire shoots forth. Go ahead and roll the damage. Seven. Second Sleeping one, 20 win. 21 will also hit. 
You're clearing a few off of Nara's, the Wyvern's shoulders. Eight. Eight damage. All right. Fourteen. Fourteen will hit. Four. It's a natural 20. 20 oh, not natural 20. Oh, yeah. I feel, uh, not, uh, too what? high. I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead what? and roll damage. No. <laughs> Eight. And my last one. 23. 23 also hits. I'm so afraid of what I'm going to hit in that one. Four. All right. Uh, as you're able to clear, like, all of the, uh, all of the gnolls that were climbing up uh, the wyvern's back. You were able to blast them off. Woohoo! Would you like to move or bonus action? Uh, ooh, mm. Tango Muerte is still out there. Tango Muerte is still out there, and I would love to throw it. Uh, there. Wait, what? I need to move forward one, apparently. Yep, because people should. A little out of in. range. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's 30. Uh, so I'll Tango Muerte a uh, green pile again. All right. The blade, the sickle blade. Oh, my God. Natural 20 on both sides. Natural 20 <laughs> for Tango Muerte. Go ahead Good. and roll down. Yo! Eight plus two and one plus two. Necrotic doesn't do anything but 10 slashing. Holy jizz balls. You liberate a few more heads from a few more bodies. Damn. All right. Asmo, you're up. Okay, well, hearing uh, hearing Asmo is just going to keep on. He's just keep on swinging. Just keep on swinging. Just keep swinging, swinging, just keep just swinging, keep swinging, just keep swinging, 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 go for it. Shell, 15, bonk. 15 will hit. <laughs> bonk on the head. Shell, bonk. Shell, bonk. Uh, yeah, 11 will still do. Uh, perfect, hit, 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 and finally, five, the, five, and, and now the Kabuto with the offhand. 26. Roll the damage. And that's a nine. All right, 14 plus nine is 23 total. Get out of me, you freaking... <laughs> Corpses! <laughs> Okie dokie, Red Horde is dead. Denier. Akin to Ceiling Cat, Denier's face just appears out of the ether. He looks around a couple seconds. One of his Sorry. hands pop out. He does some finger, some uh, wiggly finger juju. And I use twin spell to twin firebolt. One oh. at green, one at blue. So for, pachoo, pachoo. for green, 22 to hit. 22 will wow. in fact hit. 21 damage. Dear lord, okay. And for mm. blue, 16 to hit, 18 damage. Will also hit 18 damage. Denier then looks down at the rope, makes sure that the zombies aren't climbing on the bit of rope that's still extended, and he his face slowly fades back into to the, into the ether, and he disappears. <laughs> All right. Uh, Horde Blue, Wolfgang, you have presented yourself. So one of these attacks is going towards you. Hello, Poppy. That is a uh, modified 20 to hit. Oh. Yeah, that'll hit. Half of these attackers are going at you, biting, ripping, tearing, and you are considered grappled. Uh, that is 12 points of bludgeoning damage. My, my wings manifest, and I am batting their attacks out of the way. That doesn't even break my shield. Nice. And Asmo, mm -hmm. that's also a modified 20 to hit, which will not hit you through your just regular she ass shield. Yes, thank God I fucking switched to that. All right, that's uh, Horde B's turn. Wolfgang, you're up. Okay. Mm, okay. Oh my God. Seeing as how the team, team Reptiles is uh, ganging up on green here, 
Or I'm going to try. I am going to. Reptile. <laughs> Motaro. Uh, I'm going to fire another fucking laser out of my wall. It uh, shrinks by another 10 feet, and it's coming right towards blue. Hooray! All right. Roll to hit slash whatever you need to do. Yep. Here's the to hit. That is a 23. That'll do. Mm. And now this will be uh, 14 plus my heavenly conduit. 19 points of radiant damage. All right. 19 takes it down to... Boom. Oh, shit. I should have rolled a maintain concentra concentration on that. I got hit. Okay, just don't roll a nat one. Okay. Honor. Okay. Yeah. Good work. <laughs> I was like, Connor, don't you dare. <gasps> My modifier saved me there. Thank you, Ring of Protection. All right. <laughs> uh, the horde is going to continue to attack Nara the Wyvern. Uh, first attack's a nat one. Yeah. Second mm. attack is gonna be on little ass. No. And, uh, hold on, I need to pull back little ass's stat block. <laughs> Let's pull out that. No, that misses. These zombies, uh, like, they're just getting batted back now. Nara has kind of, uh, the wyvern Nara has kind of taken to the air, so they're getting kind of pushed back by the air force. And uh, the large dinosaur is just kind of like batting them away and like kind of stepping back, just kind of keeping out of reach of their claws, getting ready to sink its own teeth back into this horde as Nara the Wyvern makes its counterattack. Wow, oh, that is the closest, like, they, that's the first time we've matched AC on these things. Do. Taking out another sizable chunk of these babies. Going in with the tail. Eat them. <laughs> Stabbing another chunk of them. And math is easy Art. if you know how to do numbers, which I do probably. Okay. Little ass! Little ass! Little ass! Stomping in! Womp, womper stomping them to death. Uh, do, 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 going in with that tail sweep. That hits. Uh, not getting all of it, but you know what? Still still doing its heckin' best. But with that mighty chompy bite. Mm-hmm. Does uh -huh. a sizable chunk of damage. Yeah. It gets like th like three or four in one bite. Like, look, Ma. Look at all these. <laughs> look at all these knolls I can fit in my mouth. She's like, I'm so proud of you, baby. Yeah, a little ass just looks over at you as like three of their flailing bodies are just like singing. Mm -hmm. Two thumbs up, shaking head enthusiastically. Like, uh huh. Then little ass chomps down and all the limbs just go limp. That's the last turn. Nara, you're up. All right. How far away am I now? Because they shrank. I go. They shrank towards you. They shrank. Well, some of them did. That one did yeah. not. Um, let's see. I feel like I want to save my spell slots for later. So we're just <laughs> this, may or, this may or may not be the opening act. Yeah, have a feeling that it is. Take a more time. 13? 13 will, uh, uh, are we still sticking with green? Green, green, green. Yeah, make sure to call it out. Oh, sorry, uh, yes. Yeah, so that'll hit. 11 slashing and two that we don't care about. And then we'll do Two that we don't care one. about, just two that only seems to do half damage. Oh, okay, great. 
Uh, and then 22, which I feel like will hit. So I'm going to click that damage, which Accurate. is 10 slashing and 2 necrotic. All right. These hordes are slowly being whittled down piece by piece, sometimes literally. Gross. Awesome, but gross. Anything else you'd like to do with your turn? That was your uh, action and bonus action. When I moved, so I'm good. Okie dokie. Asmo. All righty. Asmo, not m skipping a beat. He's going to keep on just punching. Bonk on the head. That's a bonk on the head. That's it. Bonk hit. on the head. Bonk on the head. All three bonk. of those hit. Go ahead and roll those damages. Yep. A five, seven, and four. And finally, 16. the end. And the Kabuto slash, 13. Kabuto will also hit. Nine. All right. 22. All right. Uh, once again, you're down to very few zombies in this Yay. horde over here. All righty. Okay. And Red Horde is dead. Denier. Ceiling cat. <laughs> Extra dimensional uh ceiling cat. Indeed. Ceiling Cat is once again going to make an appearance, and he's going to whip some fire over at green. Whip it, whip it good. With a 20. 20 will hit. For 17 fire damage. And as quickly as he emerged, Ceiling Cat disappears. <laughs> of course he does. But with enough uh, fiery might to once again shrink this horde by a size category. Uh, Blue Horde, which is down to choosing two targets. It's going to choose the one... Actually, no, I have to... It's not smart enough to do that, so I have to actually do a coin flip here. All right, it goes after Asthma. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, and Mrs. It's, it's, like, it's, it's actually kind of sad, almost, a little, as you're just kind of, like, pushing it away. Like, just kind of... Stop it. Like you, you're you're almost kind of like backhanding it away. The one that's trying to bite you doesn't even have teeth anymore. Oh God, it's just more of a Aww. nuisance. It's 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 like it's like gumming your forearm. Oh, that's that's sad. That's that's little, very sad. Yeah, it's gonna cost a lot to clean. So, well, yeah. Thank goodness for magic. Too bad. Uh, that's its turn, Wolfgang. You're up. Mm. Hey, right. Wolfgang! Uh, that's me. Hey, that's me. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, I'm gonna circle around to the back of these zombies now that the... Ah, uh -huh, get that get plus them. three, oh. that, that necessary yeah, that, that, plus that, three that, that, to that, hit. That, that. I gotta make sure, this is my rolls on roll 20 we're talking about here. It's true. That's true. Alright, head on crescendo. Uh... Mm. That'll hit, 10 that's slashing will... This this horde is. Yeah, I, I can't even say it's on its last legs. Once again, it's just a couple like a torso on the ground. All right, guess I'm go for cleanup duty. Another crescendo. This is another sixteen. That is exactly enough to finish off this. Wow. Zombie. Uh, that, that's eight, and I just I just sort of wa slowly walk over. I'll I'll f throw crescendo through this thing's face sort of like pinning it to the ground and then I'll raise up Requiem and fire at green fire. Uh, I am firing a holy bullet at green ooh okay Requiem Natural. oh oh and as you pull the trigger God. what did I say yeah. the, what the, did uh, I say? the revolver misfires what the? Uh, the, I the bullet, that the, could happen. Uh, the bullet Birds somehow got too much before. moisture in it. What the fucking bloody zombie guts, I swear <laughs> to God. From far away, you hear, ha! All right, I swear hordes, it never happens to me. Uh, Horde C can't quite reach the... Uh, Denier, how high up are you? I am currently uh, about 15. 40 feet, 40 okay, feet yeah, high. They can't, they can't reach you either. Uh, they can't reach Nara the Wyvern. 
as it's currently flapping in the air, so it's going to go at the only ground target it can, which will be Little Ass. Little Ass? Uh, little Ass, who's now Big little Ass, ass. at the moment. That's a miss. <laughs> Does still have one additional attack, oh which <laughs> is also a miss. These poor, these ass. poor insignificant creatures cannot manage to do it, but let's see how Nara the Wyvern handles this as it slams back down to the ground with a bite. Yeah! Hit. Get him! Get him. Sure in the end. A uh, storm of body parts go flying in several Yay. which ways. And then it swings and tries to stab with its tail. And does so with gusto, impaling another couple of them. Yes. Actually, let me make sure that's accurate. Three. Yeah, impaling another couple of them. Nice. All right. Do, 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 do. Little ass. Time to snack. As it swings its <laughs> tail. Feast upon them. In a thunderous crunch and crack, more limbs just go flying. Down to that. And then, with a mighty bite. Bitey. With a, mo with a, with a modest bite. <laughs> Once again, this horde is down to but a uh, shambling mass. Baby mass, do 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 do. Baby mass. With that, Nara, you're up. Angle, what to do, 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 what to do, 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 26. 26 will hit. 11 slashing and 4 necrotic. This particular horde seems to be on its last limbs. And again, 30. Will hit. 8 slashing and 4 necrotic. And with a searing blaze of... Tango Muerte, basically acting as like a, a deli meat carving wheel. <laughs> you carve the face off the last remaining zombie that could do any damage. <laughs> Thus ending their screams of agony and the combat itself. Woo! Oh my we god! Did it. We did it without burning through too much stuff, I'm not gonna lie. That's... Nara the Wyvern lands and begins licking all of its gaping, bleeding wounds. Oh, baby! And as you guys begin to collect yourself, here is where we will take our first break. Hey guys, Lanny here. I just wanted to thank you for rolling with us. And if you wanted to catch us live, you can do so almost every Monday at 5 o'clock Central Time over on twitch.tv slash Lanny Pator. Now, back to the show. As Quiet returns, uh to the sands around you. The screeching of the hordes comes to an end. And the area is now still uh, marred only by Wolfgang's wall of blinding white light. Mm. I'll probably go ahead and I'll, I'll release my concentration on that. I don't want and to- And as you do- No. Beacon. Oh my god, how <laughs> dare you? <laughs> A horde of vampires walks out and immediately oh my gets burned God. to the crisp under a <laughs> sun. <laughs> we chose a bad time to I do this only... in a terrible climate. Blah. I, can only... I can only imagine that, like, a campaign where the DM just does every worst possible scenario to see if people can make it through. We call those DMs meat grinders. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yes. That game is called Ravenloft. Oh, no. All right, so yeah, the uh, the hordes have been vanquished, and there's no more growling echoing from the caverns or the canyon before you. You are once again alone on the sands in front of the opening that leads into the caverns that the undead spawned out from. Huh. Is everything all right? Is everyone all right? 
I'm doing okay. Asmo immediately jumps over to check on Nara. But, you know, the, the one he rides. In no. the sky. Uh, oh, yeah. In the okay. sky. In the sky. The wyvern. Right. Gotcha. Mm. Got we it. need an apostrophe. Mm. Nara. <laughs> Nara. Nara. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Nara the wyvern is currently licking at all of her many wounds, those that she can reach. Um, she's not she's not in great shape. She can still fly, but uh, certainly worse for wear at the moment. Uh, I will... I'm just, as I was just like petting her going, you did good, you did good, you did good. I'm guessing it's just, you know, you're going to have to stay back if you're taking too much damage. No, but uh, yeah, I guess. I, mean, I, I don't think she. Could, I don't think she could have come into wherever we're going anyway. So true. Mm. Well, she that can at least like go for... back and get healed up at the town nearby. They know that she's a thing. So doing okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to jump out of the way of those guys to rush you. I just. Oh, I'm alive for now. I mean, we'll see what's in there, but... It all worked out. Everyone's okay? Where did Denier go? Denier's head pops out of thin air, like the Cheshire oh. Cat, just hanging upside down, a piece of jerky in his mouth. My god. Stomp, 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 stomp. Oh, no. <laughs> you have jerky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're, you're, you're still pretty high in the air, so beneath you, looking straight up, is a very expectant-looking uh, face. Its tongue just kind of, like, wiggling in its mouth a little bit <laughs> of the large chronosaur as its tail just slowly swings back and forth. Uh, the closest it could possibly give you to puppy dog eyes as it's looking up at you. My god. Denier just, he gives a little bit of a grin. The, the piece of uh, jerky hanging from his mouth. He pulls back for just a second, casts his mage hand, and from the opening, the single piece of jerky starts, a, starts to lower itself. It begins flying around little Az's head. <laughs> All right. And it, it, it you plays to make an with Arcana him. check versus its dexterity. As it just oh my god. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. That's an eleven. Good luck. All right, you're it's... able. You're able to kind of like keep it out of reach for a second, but your mage hand completely dissipates when little ass kind of loses patience and just humph, chomps the whole thing. God. A couple seconds later, Daenerys' head pops back out of the uh, out of the hole, still upside down, ears perked up. Makes a bit of a face at little ass. A goofy, oh. happy face. <laughs> well, this is all entertaining and well and good, but... Stomp, stomp, stomp. So are we yes, going it'll... into the murder cave or no? I don't like the sound of the words murder and cave. Yeah, sounds like it's full of a bunch of fucking losers. <laughs> well, first of all, how dare you? Second of all, I think it sounds cool. <laughs> Come on, the last. We're going in the cave. <laughs> stomp, 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 stomp. Sticks her tongue out at Wolfgang as she passes. Stomp, stomp. You're welcome. You're dumb. Hey, uh, all right, Nara, you go get some food, and I'm gonna call you Big Nara for statistical for like combat reasons. Give a kiss on the side of the cheek. <laughs> <laughs> kind of nuzzles you a bit as you hear uh, Big Nara's wings flap, and she takes off in search of food. Guess we're on our way then. Nara's gonna go sneaky into this side. 
Just to meet you. De Niro, uh-huh. you're uh-huh. being uh-huh. left behind. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. <gasps> Bye, guys. Bye, have fun in the other dimension. Eventually, De Niro crawls out and starts following after, hurrying along. <laughs> all right you guys uh make it to the opening of the caves and uh the the first thing that hits you is the smell Mm. as you walk in the sickly sweet smell of pungent rot the literal funk of 40,000 years. Nice. <laughs> and grisly ghouls from every tomb? Uh, to they're, to they're, haunt they, inside they, your at, at, neighborhoods. The, at, the, at, the, at the very least, the grisly ghouls all appear to be uh, vanquished after they came out in their massive hordes. Um, the air feels very heavy with like this dense moisture, though. This... Uh, that that is what this kind of like rotting smell is clinging to. The only answer you have for such a uh, dense feeling of humidity is just the fact that all of the flesh that was rotting in here, all that moisture had to go somewhere. Yeah. Oh. So you are okay. literally walking through the condensation of rot how much does this place feel like festus is uh basically his lair the funny thing you say that uh the the smell Uh very much reminds you of festus's breath it it, it, like it's it's it is not it's not as strong like you're, you're not having to make constitution saves just to breathe here but it is uh, reminiscent of the types of rot and uh, pungence that you got within the vicinity of the corpulent pig of death. Tasty. His bacon is I, to die for. I take a handkerchief out, pour some water on it, press the digitation that some bitch up, and wrap it around my snout. All right, you waterboard yourself and nice. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah, it, it it does a little to alleviate the noxious fumes, but the sheer density of like the ammonia in the air is just nearly impossible to escape. Uh, as your eyes quickly adjust to the darkness. <sighs> And you travel a little further in, you... I activate uh, my eye that can see illusion immediately, just looking around uh, what sure. I can see. See uh, if there's nothing, anything. Nothing appears to be uh, completely out of place here in terms of illusionary magics. Uh, the caverns that you walk through, uh, looks like uh, on the walls there are some like old sconces where torches have long since gone out. Uh there there are definite signs of long gone life uh little posts where patrolling guards might have stayed uh various areas of uh that, that look like you know some of the knolls or maybe even some of the trogs from years and years and years and years ago would have come to just uh sit down and rest their feet uh, before venturing off into the desert. Uh, The further in you go, the more homey the place feels, but the more homey the place seems to feel uh, as you get glimpses of tents, huts, houses built within these uh, caverns the more eerie it feels in this post-apocalyptic sense where there just is no life anywhere here anymore. Oh. Uh, After dealing with over 
well over a uh, hundred zombies, you're now seeing exactly where they all came from and where they would have lived before this horror show happened. And uh, as you walk through, you realize at one point there were certainly more than the amount of zombies you had, as there are discarded bones and old uh, corpses with very little meat left on them kind of scattered about the uh, towns, mostly the uh, smaller and weaker of the knolls were not able to survive the initial, well, quote-unquote, survive the initial onslaught of these undead creatures and were devoured wholly oh. before they could be turned. And among those corpses, there must be uh, at least... Uh, from your best guesstimate, just like between seeing what's lying in the streets and under various collapsed structures sticking out, there were at least as many that did not get turned than there were that did. Man. What an absolute shithole. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just imagining the amount of like viscera on the floor where everything walked from. Yep, there are a lot of uh, old bit, like bits of flesh that you're guessing probably fell off of the zombies that you were fighting as they were just shambling around these caves. Uh, old bits of tattered fur clinging to jagged pieces of rock and wrecked building. Uh, nothing in the village itself, uh, based on the fact that you can see a couple of just, like, tipped over barrels of barley, nothing in the village itself seems to have been plundered or looted. It just looks like a horde absolutely smashed through and killed everything that was living. Hmm. Are there any s small details that would tell us more to that story, or? Um, if you want to give me an investigation check. I'd like to sure. help with that, actually. Yeah, I'd like to go through and investigate as well. Ooh, Lord. All right. Investigation uh, checks all around, as you will. Hooray! Hi. Are those those be with advantage, since we're all kind of helping each other out? Uh, it would be with advantage if only one of you was doing it. Oh, okay. I got a 19. I got a 16. I got a 7. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nara, the most the most you can find is that yeah, um, it seems like supply stores and uh, various for like va various bits of like good and like lumber, uh, nothing was touched as uh, except for any living creature. Living creatures were eviscerated. Huh. Wolfgang, uh, as you're searching about. You do discover that uh, from from your investigation, you're able to kind of decipher that uh, there were battlements put up very uh, late into this. As you're kind of getting closer to the fringes of the village, you can see uh, kind of like palisades kind of put into place. You know, those... Um, long sharp sticks all pointing in one direction mm -hmm. uh there appear to be like a couple of dead zombies just kind of like at the end of them uh yeah all liberated of their heads hmm. but these palisades <sighs> were in fact destroyed or at least broken through uh denier in your investigation being more inclined with the arcane. Uh, as you're kind of glancing around, I will also give you the uh, benefit of an arcane check. Ooh, goody. Let's Ooh. see. Mm. 22. Ooh. Nice. You're able to examine one of these zombie corpses that are uh, still kind of like... Actually, what you find... Uh, as you're kind of like glancing around the fringes of this 
uh, near surface village is one zombie that is still alive. It's kind of trapped under a crumbled pile of rocks. It's trying to reach out, just uh, claw its way towards you. Just... <sighs> and as you glance down at it, its eyes kind of glowing with that sickly green energy. You... Sense a consciousness staring back at you through it. Oh. Something has direct control over this particular zombie as it is taking particular notice of you. Uh, it does not have a lower jaw. Its tongue just kind of flops out of its mouth as its <clears throat> fangs are tried to made bare on the upper half of its jaw. <laughs> It's reaching out at you with the remainder of its arm. We are not here to fight. We're here to speak to Solomon. Uh, it is still trying to reach at you, but it it just can't. Like there is there is yeah. no there is no chance in hell that unless this thing somehow could liberate its body from this rock fall. It's not doing anything right now, but uh, it either does not understand your words or is just so single-mindedly trying to tear your throat out that it doesn't care. Mm -hmm. After he gives the message, he looks over towards the, towards the rest of the group I got one here. There's intelligence behind its eyes as well. We're being watched. You specifically. As anybody else walks up, it is only looking at you, Denier. Correction. Apparently, I've got its attention. You're always good at making friends. Like that guy with the plates back in the town. Yep. Can't wait to talk to him again. Detect magic? Um. Sure enough, there there is certainly necromancy. Um, shifting all throughout this thing. But there also seems to be, um, God, what, I need to remember what school this is. Ah, uh, I think enchantment. Let me check. Load quicker. Yep, enchantment. There, There is a tinge of enchantment within this necromancy. Uh, oh. a, a, a very, like, kind of a weird form of enchantment. A familiar form. Familiar? Yeah, Wolfgang would have to give me an arcana check. Okay. What if, what if he did? I, uh, nine. Okay. Yeah, there's some Ooh. enchantment there. You're, it, it's oddly familiar, but you're not sure why. Cool. It's under some form of enchantment magic as well. What kind? That's all I know. That's so probably it's... the that's probably the consciousness that I'm sensing behind it. Mm. Enchantment spells are stuff like mind altering things. Though I wasn't I didn't know that it worked on the undead. Uh Denier and Wolfgang, I'll allow another mm. arcana check between oh, the two boy. of you. Between the two of us? I got an 18. Now, is that just one of us rolling or both of us rolling? Uh, it yeah, could be one of you with advantage or both of you. I'll give him advantage. All right, so that'd be a 22 instead. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. As you and Wolfgang kind of like work together to decipher the specific type of enchantment in here, 
the answer sort of clicks with both of you as you glance at it. Psionics. Oh. Oh, bloody hell. What? Denier pulls out the, the ebon wand and he waves it just a little bit. Its eyes seem to glisten a little bit. But then it just goes back to trying to rip and tear at you. Uh, it, it, its sinews and joints are beginning to like pop and rip in its fervor to try to like reach its arm towards you. Fire bolted in the face. Oh. Uh, I'll just call this a coup de gras. The thing poof, sizzles, burns, and the arm goes limp. And for my own sake, there we go. Yeah, well more than enough. <laughs> We're dealing with the squid faces again. Wait, oh, what? Damn it. I thought those guys were gone. Asmo's uh... hand goes right to the blade immediately. <laughs> Wait. Um, why would they be here, though? Oh, they were from a dimension removed, so... It would be implied they could build another door at a different time. How far off the mark am I with that? Pretty far. Boo! Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> Turns around. Who said that? Oh, little um, ass is just like nuzzling. Little ass is just kind of staring down at you. Hey, Wait. hey, you didn't ass. send any. You didn't send any of those squids to him, did you? Completely yeah, like ignores a... Wolfgang. Turns to Asmo. Hey, Asmo. You remember sets. that time that we sent. Mm -hmm. Remember how I yeah. nip? Oh, it's please. Squid. No, 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 no. I distinctly remember. a bad idea. That is you not what you said. Good idea. That is and not what you, you said. It it's anyway. you, are you are gaslighting me. Fault. You are gaslighting me. I will not be gaslit like this. <laughs> fine, 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 fine. It was my fault. Hmm. Are you happy? No. Being right sucks when you're as negative as me. That's fair. <laughs> mm. He only oh. has a couple, though. Only a couple. Well, I don't think that really matters if they work as a unit. He has access to literally everything Solomon's ever made. Up to that point, does he have free access always? Or is there a limit to it? I don't know. I don't. You know I don't know magic. You're really a demigod, Asmo. When I tried to message Solomon, I heard a cacophony of voices inside my head. They said my other name. Oh. It's not just a few. So word for the rise in the future. We're not sending those. I as well, I twitches after thirty years of being right. Wait a, wait a minute. Wait uh, a minute. Wait a what? Minute. Wait a minute. What? Something just, something just occurred to me. Mm -hmm. What's the time limit on this? It's been thirty years. You're not dead. Yet, assumedly, you haven't sent enough bodies yet. I barely sent. I really didn't send any after Nara disappeared. Oh. So what the fuck? Why are you don't... doing it? Because Nara's here now. Yeah. Mm. It's like our. Thing. Besides, there's a low-key belief that if I to a hundred, this scar in my chest will go, this mark on my chest will go away. So, I never really liked playing the odds on that. I never had a reason to. And it was a long time ago I sent them. A very long time ago. Oh, God, I barely remember it. Though you remember sending a couple of them mm -hmm. after a fight we had. Would you have sent Deus's body? No. What? He says to himself. Oh no, he put that body somewhere else. Okay. Oh, that's right. Just checking. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That was that was different. I thought there would have been a poetic justice to you saying that was the last one you were going to send, and that being the last one you sent, and then you put the ring away. No, I didn't get a chance to. That's the sad truth of it. Mm. He wanted to do that. But then, but then, Deus jumped him before it was ever time. Oh, there you go. That's the thing. That's the truth of it. That was what Asma wanted, but he didn't get what he wanted. It wasn't bittersweet. And that's, it was... the, and that's the, the 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 message behind revenge. You don't always get what you want. 
Mm-hmm. Don't mm-hmm. always mm-hmm. get what you want. Mood. Hashtag mood. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you think the squid guys are in here? <laughs> Not for long. Asmo says, pulling out uh, the Vorpal Blade. Because uh, I remember I got a I got a sword from these guys from their dimension. Now, I, I don't have it on my guy anymore. Did he lose it at some point? You left it in your armory. You have an armory of weapons back at uh, uh, hmm. Needhog's camp. Of course you, you know, I wish I, I wish I brought the sword from their dimension. It would have been useful. Might have. Mm. Mm. Chimera. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Asmo, this is going to be an odd thing to say, but make me an Arcana check. Ah! Oh my god. Three! You don't notice it. You don't notice anything different. I swear, I never roll investigation on Arcana because I have negative one, guys. I just do. Yeah. It's like, it's like, I understand. It's like, uh, why? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Hmm. The important thing is no, that. I would also like you to roll an Arcana check. I will gladly do this thing. For an eight. <laughs> Nothing out of the ordinary is happening. Thank ah, excellent. Goodness. I love how normal the situation is currently it's a around. Perfectly me. normal situation with no one different. Why not just, just have a thing as it gets? Why don't you just say, hey, can we go perception check and we fail? You go, okay. You don't I see anything. anything. I don't like it. It was the most Connor, fucking awful thing this. you could say. You don't see anything. I don't like it. Do I hear anything? I mean, what is noticing things, you know? Like, really? <laughs> mm. Be aware? Mm, let see what's noticing things. Hey, yeah, yeah. You're, 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 in a, you're in a dark cave. You have a uh, sword of legend in your hand, and that is all there is to it. Oh, God. Okay. The important thing, at the very least right now, is if, it, if there is some kind of consciousness behind it, it knows that we just want to talk to Solomon and nothing else. Where is Solomon? Shouldn't he know what's going on if there's like a hordes of zombies that he um, can't really control around? Unless he's dead. That's not a thing. That is literally what his mother said so many years ago. Yeah, but he wouldn't like die. Right? Denier starts walking away, having watched a god die in the past. Denier? Asmo switches his shield to uh, the spear and slams it down. <sighs> you know I got this from a god, right? Demigod. Demigod. Um... Got round up. And took all of us and we nearly died in that. Asmo taps his eye. Oh, I lost the eye. Mm. And right oh. before you met me, I had two eyes. It was wild. You had two? Mm-hmm. You, the first time huh. you saw me, I had two eyes. No, I thought I had my eye. No, I thought I had lost my eye in that fight she, with her. The first time she, the first time she saw you, was when you fought. Um, right. At Sol- right. In Solomon's. Thank you. Domain. Thank you. Oh yeah. Thank oh you. yeah. That's true. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So what? Yeah. I was correct, distracted correction. by the shirtless what do you fighting. Think of, why do you think I got an eye patch when you actually showed up at Dragon's Rest? I thought it was a fashion statement. No, I had my eye poked out by a demigod. Why did you let got... him poke it out? Well, to be fair, I have his poke. I have her poker now. Asmos <laughs> taps it. Oh. It's yeah. called the God Breaker for a reason. Yeah, it was accidental, I swear. But Solomon would like probably at least tell me if he was gonna die. I think... Uh, what, I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if he didn't know? Just walking along and then just, poof, done. I feel like that's not a very Solomon thing to do. You, I, you act like you had any say in the matter. I'm going to assume you're all following Denier at a distance. Yes. As you're oh, yep. he, he just kept walking. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm assuming he's in the lead with his staff lit up, guiding the way right now. Uh-huh. If, if down this Re- path, real great evil. Shit. Real wizard shit leading the way in a cave. <laughs> That's wizard shit right there. That is wizard uh, as, shit. 
as you continue down this path, uh, more and more bodies are piled up left, right, and center, uh, including several more that might have that must have been part of uh, the eventual horde that broke through into the town. Uh, eventually, once you get through these, basically following the corpses, uh, you do get to a branch in the path. One which has significantly more corpses, one that has only a few corpses. Which path would you follow? The one with more bodies or the one with fewer? No, you there's one with more that. bodies or the one with less bodies, but they're more fucked up. Yeah, that's the real that's the real question. I'd say they're about equally fucked up, but mm. Oh, or, well. You know, you know, it, it, it's really up to like the. The more the bodies implies that there are less in that room well, now. <laughs> you don't know that for sure. Don't send Just, the holder. The, if there's a bunch of bodies, that could mean that something ate most of them, and this is just what's left. So there could be a very big thing in there. Why did they all? Why did all the zombies come out then? The well, corpses. Smart. They are, they are not smart. Yes, if you one plus one, they'll just try to eat you. You know, like, it's the the reality. And you're, oh. you you're seem to be taking charge on this. Why don't you just decide? I mean, it's going to be a 50-50 of if we're in trouble or not anyway, right? I'm of, I'm of a mind that this side over here has less bodies, which means that if there was corpses over here then they've either gotten up and moved or they were focusing on defending that area over there. Mm. So I say we go through the place with more bodies. I always like that option, but I didn't want to say it out loud because I knew that you knew that I was going to say that. All right. Uh, is that is that what the party agrees on? That's about it. Might as well. In Denier's mind... Right. The the part with more bodies is basically the side that they fought harder to try to defend, which means there's something deeper in that they were trying to defend. And if there's something that's taken up a layer in here, it's more than likely going to take up the layer in the area that they were defending than anything. All right. Following the uh, corpsey mm -hmm. trail, um, as you get further and further in, uh, the, the, the body count remains approximately the same, uh, per cubic, f or per foot, like per square foot, but, um, something kind of changes about, uh, I don't know, a hundred meters in. The uh, bodies that are dispatched, uh, as, as you get further and further out, they appear to be more frantically dismembered, crushed with, like, truncheons, stabbed with spears, just taken apart however they can. But as you get further in, you start to notice more and more very clean kills on these bodies. Mm. Mm. These like kills by, are... By, yeah, by, by a very clean, clear blade. Now, these bodies were cut up by blades. See? Clear cuts along the body. And they seem to be... How many heads are decapitated? Uh, the further in you get, the cleaner the kills are, and yeah. there's a lot of decapitations. Mm, they're decapitating. The focus is the head. Each thing, see all these bodies along here, no strikes anywhere else, aside from the head. You well, it's the most no fun one to do. Yeah, it's the quickest way to drop a guy. Well, that too, but... Probably as they started pushing forward, the weaker... The weaker combatants fell to the horde while the stronger ones and the ones that were more tactically sound began to fall back, leaving better, cleaner strikes from the stronger fighters as they fell back even further. This looks like a last stand, if anything. I want um, either one of you to give me investigation with advantage or each of you to give me an investigation check or a medicine check of your choice. Mm, each of us investigation, maybe? Or medicine. Mm -hmm. Or medicine. Me and Denier are about equal in investigation. I don't even ask me to investigate anything. Well, I would say that all of us go then. Okay, go for it. Higher chances. Um, mm. D -d 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 -d. You said investigation or medicine? 
Uh, investigation or survival? Sorry, survival. Oh, 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 survival. Okay, I... survival it is. <laughs> now Asma likes it. Blink. Nat 20. Oh my god. 11. 13. Nat Asma, 20, the, uh, you're able to kind of put together a scene from this as you're looking in. These zombies that you're finding down this corpsey trail, they were not invaders. They were defenders. And now, which, cleaner, no, the, which the ways to the bottom? Sorry. The zombies that you're finding dead appear to be defending this tunnel. Hold on. Look at the other position, though. They're bunching up here. These. Moro oh. Wait, hold on. This. Look at which direction they're facing. They're all facing one way. They're not chasing in. They're going out. They were defending, just like the ones outside. So the one with the more bodies is the right choice. Mm, I hope so. Moreover, the um, clean kills and uh, apparent tactics that you can decipher from these battlegrounds lead you to believe that the... Uh, the cleaner kills of the zombies of the interior here were from drow blades. Drow. Uh -huh. So he was here. How long have they been dead again? You might have already said that. Uh, these zombies with, uh, well. They're already decaying. Very, yeah, it's very hard to tell how long zombies have been dead. I'm going to assume the cuts don't look as fresh after a day, though. It's it's it certainly seems like it's been at least um, it's been somewhere between a few days and a couple of weeks since Dude. these bodies have died, like re died. Cats are clean, but it's been a while. A couple days, week plus, hard to tell out in the desert. But from your best mm. guess, uh, with a nat twenty, there is more than likely a an elite group of drow that came in here to hunt these things and try to take out what was the, whatever is in this tunnel. It still might be here for all we know. Mm. Be careful, they're good with a blade. Oh, that's fine. I am too. Aswell's got his spear right now, also out in form, just so he gets something he could... If in a zombie situation, one zombie's running at you, just grab the spear, hold it back, and there you go. You follow the uh, trail of bodies, trying to keep your eyes and ears peeled for uh, any signs of the hunters and attackers of these creatures. So go ahead and give me perception checks. Oh, yeah! Mm, that's bad, not one. 19. And nobody shame kept me here. Do I? Can I roll perception, Nick? Everybody can. You're all keeping your eyes. Oh, open. my. 13. 16. All right. You don't sense any movement as you continue traveling down, kind of like slowing your speed. Uh, Denier, you run face first into a stalactite. Nobody seems to notice, though. No. But in the back of your mind... You just think to yourself, damn shame. And then you... <laughs> <laughs> Doing it to myself. <sighs> this is... Get what you fucking deserve! Oh Get what you God. fucking deserve! But uh, as you turn a corner, Nara, you're the first to notice this. Uh, sitting at kind of like the, the far edge of a, a, a open cavern, you see uh, two silvery... Uh, like kind of silvery curtained heads uh, oh. sitting beyond a rock. Kind mm. of one next to the other. Like just the heads? You can only see the heads from beyond the rock. <laughs> Do you wish to get closer and investigate? <clears throat> uh, yes, but she will uh, do the little two fingers point at her eyes, point at the direction of the heads, and then start sneaking in. Uh, the rest of your eyes don't have the same adept nature 
uh, to darkness that Nara's specifically do. So it takes you a while to kind of focus in and see what she's pointing at. Uh, it, it takes you a little while to get close enough and see it. As you approach it, Nara, you do see that uh, they are, in fact, two heads sitting on pikes. Oh. Um. Uh -huh. yeah. As you make noise and approach, the eyes open, each glowing uh. green, and they turn and stare at you in undercommon. Uh, do any of you, aside from Nara, speak undercommon? Oh, fuck, do I? Nope. Oh, no, my languages are gone. I'm going to assume no. Yeah, I don't think you ever did, Asma. No. All right. In undercommon, they look at you in, in unison. You come to my lair. Uh, Hi. Uh oh. He responds you, also in an undercommon. You have intruded on my experiment. Um, can I ask who you are first? We have no name. We are disconnected from the hive. Oh! We are alone. Remember you guys? What? It's the guys. The, 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 the squids. <laughs> Turns back to the heads. Hi, how have you been? What is your business here? Well, I was coming to see Solomon. What is a Solomon? He's the guy that has glowy bones. <laughs> Both uh -oh. of the uh, heads begin to shriek as the eyes roll back. Um, turns everyone. I think I might have messed up. You uh, turns back. Uh, are, you, are you saying it to them or us? Oh no, she turns back to like tell the party that she thinks she messed up, and then she turns back to the heads. Can we keep talking or? Have knowledge of the black and white man. Yes. You have knowledge that we require. Yep, but we can talk about it. You don't have to do the thing where you try and take you over my brain because that's not fun for me. We'll provide. Yeah. We can talk about it, as long as you're not rude about my brain and stuff. The cave begins to rumble behind you. Oh, fuck. You will provide. The mouths of the drow begin to open wider and wider, glowing with a brilliant green energy. I need everybody to make me a dexterity save. Oh, oh my fuck. god. Oh, my god. Okay. <laughs> 12. 16. Soft 20. Nice. Is this a spell? No. Is a spell like effect? Damn it. So I can't counter spell it. Okay. Yeah. Beans. Asmo, dexterity save. Oh boy. Uh... Natural one. Asmo okay. is taken by surprise. I uh, bet. As the mouths open wide, they are firing their lasers. And oh, God. Ah, shit! 
It's not the lasers that you're trying to dodge, but the sheer amount of falling rock and rubble that completely collapses the tunnel from which you entered. Well, oh, shit. Open the as well as many of the rocks around you, uh, the heads themselves explode in this effort as well, leaving oh, strands of brain, flesh, and hair strewn everywhere. Uh, but that's less of a concern to uh, Nara and Asmo, oh, God. as Denier and Wolfgang will only take half of this. Oh, no. What if you uh, did it? 32 right. points of bludgeoning damage, oh. 16 oh. for uh, 16 for Wolfgang and Denier. How much do I get again? As, you... 32! As the rocks come crumbling down, pinning some of you into the cavern. Oh. The echoes of Ugh. abyssal voices rock through the cavern ahead, or the uh, tunnel ahead of you. Oh, this is not what I wanted. <clears throat> I'm afraid as... to ask, but can I understand what it's saying since I, since you said if it's abyssal? Y do you speak abyssal? If it's tied to the Bleeding God, I don't know exactly what his language is. It's either Infernal or Abyssal. Uh, bleeding God is Infernal. Okay, then never mind. Uh, also, I'm not even sure I'm... Uh, they speak whatever the hell aberration is. Uh, deep speech, that one. Deep speech. I have, yeah, then uh, never mind. I have no idea what that is. All right. The echoes of deep speech, uh, or the tremblings of deep speech echo around you as uh, those of you that are able to kind of look about notice more and more heads on pikes chanting these otherworldly speech and an icy chill runs down your spine as a gust of wind echoes forth from the chambers ahead and here's where we'll end today's session